Now we will see how to <coughs> check the BCAN codes if you do not have HDS which is Honta diagnosis, diagnostic system. What you can do is you can uh, locate the MICU and then check the BCAN codes here right here on the dashboard. I will show you how to do that. To do that, well that box is uh, located here, look here. So what you need to do is you need to remove this, this panel, then that panel and then you will see the box. So I am going to do that now. So what you need to do is you need to remove it from this side first and then that side and then just pull pull it up and it will come off. It is kind of hard to show it uh, by holding the camera in one hand. So on this side you have the tabs so which I don't know if you can see but here you will have a tab. Uh, make sure you don't break that tab and there will be another tab here and then there will be a fastener here and here and then a bunch of bunch of fasteners here the other one would be here so first remove the tabs from this side and that side then the fastener there there and then just lift this thing up to pull it out so as you can see you can just do that let me remove this there's no fastener there there's a, there's still a tab there which you need to remove give me one sec Alright, so these are the tabs. See this tab one here and one there. I oh, don't know, is it a tab or it's yeah, it looks like a tab which, which goes in right here. So once you do that, these are the fastener locations. Uh, three of them, just pull them out and you'll see a panel like this. Keep it aside. Okay, now to open this kick panel, you need to probably need to remove this and there will be a, a tab here or hook here as they call it uh, yeah see that one here just to remove that and once you remove that just pull it out well there is another one here make sure you don't break those so once you remove that all you need to do is you just need to pull it out and that's it All you need to do is pull this out. Alright, once you pull that out, that's how that looks. So you can see that MICU thing is right here, up here. See that one? That's the one. I probably can yes. need to access this relay box and then see this spot there. see that okay can you see that this spot right here that's where you either use the connector or you basically need to connect those two pins together now if you can see those pins there probably not but see right there and to do that all you can do is just take the just take the aluminum foil and something something like this something like this and just stick it in there and it will short it and then you can use it. Alright now to see the BCAN codes this is an important step and you have to do it exactly as I show but I don't take any responsibility. If you do anything wrong with your car I am doing it for my car. So what you do is first you put the key in and turn it to this number two so turn the ignition on then you need to move the light switch to the middle door position and that light switch is here so you need to so this is off this is on and the the middle one is on right now so you need to take it to the middle not on off not on on right in the middle once you do that <coughs> you need to use the aluminum foil and stick it in there uh, basically Honda says that you use the service connect MPCS service connector 
but obviously I don't have it so I'm gonna do that once I stick the aluminum foil in there wait for five seconds and watch the ceiling light and the when the ceiling light flashes quickly once and then goes, goes off then you can see the beacon codes on the gauge control like right here so let's try that all right now I'm going to stick the aluminum foil in there and then check the light now this is a tricky part so I'll probably keep the camera aside well I just want to show you that when you put the coil in there uh, I don't know if you can see that so that's how that looks see um, that's how you put the aluminum foil in there light blinked once and then you see the beacon code flashing right here now what you need to do is press this select reset button so you can use this button to cycle through the beacon codes uh, so I press it once see you see end so that means I just have one code you press it again you see the code so you can repeatedly press this button to go through all the codes and once you have them noted down you can sort them look at the reasons and then decide what to do if you want to get rid of the code you just keep this pressed for about 13 to 15 seconds and uh, this code will be reset uh, but it will come back again hopefully if the problem still persists so I'll just go through that I only see one code I'll debug this code now and see what it means and uh, I'll continue working on my car to put these things back just follow the reverse order so install this panel first Right. install this panel first and then install this part next and that's it uh, don't forget to remove the aluminum foil all right so this code 1177 is related to the battery voltage it basically says abnormal battery voltage so I'm gonna check it now set it on DC and check here see voltage is 12.5 which is probably the right voltage so I recently changed the battery so I guess the beacon code came up when the battery was bad and I changed the battery and since then it's all fine thanks for watching the video see ya bye bye